the electric vehicle battery competition has been likened to the gold rush of the 21st century. In the near future, there will be a number of new technologies that will make it simpler to purchase and run a zero-emission car. As battery packs become more advanced, they'll be able to deliver more than 400 miles of range between charges while only taking a few seconds to charge. They will also be able to supply electricity to the car over the air, putting an end to the problems of range anxiety and long charging periods in the future. Decarbonization objectives, as well as boosting stability and resilience in our energy supply chain, are all made possible by batteries, which are a critical technology in this endeavor. This is particularly true in the case of electric cars, which are now powered mostly by lithium-ion batteries. Tesla's new 4680 battery cells have received mixed reviews from critics, despite the fact that the company is rushing into the rapidly growing EV industry with more resources than ever before. The company's new batteries are intended to be more efficient, more affordable, and more widely available, which is exactly what the company is aiming for with its new batteries. However, Lucid Motors Peter Rawlinson has contrasting views, and that is exactly what we'll be talking about in today's video. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder that subscribing is free and liking the video helps YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. Tesla was comfortable with purchasing cells from third-party sources that included its unique chemistry, but it foresaw problems in the future. With constant growth of 40-50% to 50 each year, the trillion-dollar company intends to become the world's leading electric vehicle manufacturer. In order to do this, the company will need an increasing number of batteries. There was a discrepancy between Tesla's internal need for automotive and energy storage batteries and the manufacturing capacity of its battery cell suppliers. With the goal of rectifying this situation, Tesla's teams have been hard at work purchasing and inventing new technological solutions that will enable the company to make significant advancements in the battery cell structure. Perhaps more crucially, Tesla used its expertise in the battery cell production domain as well as its world-class manufacturing equipment capabilities to completely reinvent the manufacturing process from beginning to end. Panasonic said that it would begin test production of its new 4680 battery cell, which was developed specifically for the titan of the EV industry early next year. Automotive manufacturer claims to have resolved several fundamental challenges that had been impeding commercial production of large cylindrical lithium-ion batteries, namely in a novel configuration known as 4680. Battery cells like Tesla's new 4680 have the potential to be less expensive and more efficient, allowing for greater range or smaller battery packs. In order to manufacture the battery cell, the car maker has to create new production techniques, which it intends to implement at scale in its new battery plants, which will be constructed in Berlin, Shanghai, and Austin. Lucid CEO Peter Rawlinson recently offered his opinions on the Tesla approach to battery packs, the race for range dominance, and Tesla's ambitions to design and construct its own 4680 cells. He said that in the far future, the range of electric cars may see some unexpected trends, and the company's 4680 cells may not be as significant a revolution as previously anticipated. When it comes to maximizing the range of its cars, Lucid is well known for doing so, with the Air Sedan, which was the company's first automobile, being the first electric vehicle to obtain an EPA rating of more than 500 miles per charge. Lucid's six Air Sedan models, which use the same 2170 cells that power cars such as the Model 3 and the Rivian R1T, have taken the top six positions in the EPA's range rankings. Peter does not support just adding additional cells to increase range, as GM is doing with the 200 kilowatt hour battery in the 350 mile Hummer EV, or what Rivian seems to be doing with the 180 kilowatt hour pack in the 400 mile R1T. He referred to this as dumb range. This was something that Lucid made a point of avoiding with the Air Sedan, which achieves a class leading 130E miles per GE while using a 118 kilowatt hour battery pack. As an interesting side note to this discussion, Rawlinson asserts that although the electric car industry is now engaged in a range war, this will not be the case in the future. In fact, the CEO of Lucid thinks that as electric cars become more ubiquitous and inexpensive and as home charging becomes the norm, future electric vehicles may potentially have less range. As a result, 
there won't be the same level of insecurity and reliance on a public supercharging network. Rawlinson didn't seem to be very optimistic about the prospect of any significant battery advancements in the near future, however. While discussing Tesla's 4680 cells, Lucid's CEO said that he believes the technology has promise. With the cell's densely packed jelly rolls, the new battery seemed to be more of a packaging victory rather than a chemical one, with more active cell material compared to the surrounding casting. The concept of 4680 batteries being a significant achievement is, in the words of Rawlinson, just fantasy. However, internal resistance would be reduced as a result of this battery tech, and that should be considered as a significant achievement. Rawlinson's latest observations into the electric car battery sector will most likely be proven or disproven over time. Battery technology is always growing better, so it's possible that even incredibly cost-effective electric vehicles might one day have a range equivalent to luxury EVs. Tesla's 4680 cells, which are particularly engineered to reduce manufacturing costs, might potentially make a significant impact in the manufacturing industry. This next wave of widespread cars might be revolutionized by a combination of the 4680 cells and other advancements such as dry electro technology and structural battery designs, which could be used in conjunction with mega castings. Ultimately, the 4680 cells may not be the silver bullet in the electric vehicle transition. Whether or not the 4680 cells have significant potential will most likely be determined in the following few years of Tesla's expansion which will be reflected by the introduction of vehicles like the Cybertruck. Since the dawn of the electric automobile, solid-state batteries have been touted as the key to unlocking the full potential of electric vehicles. Due to the fact that solid-state technology is lighter, more efficient, and requires less time to charge than lithium-ion batteries, it is extensively promoted. Nonetheless, you may be wondering, is it, as many say, the most promising technology available today? Vertical integration is a priority for Tesla since the company wants to reduce waste and enhance long-term viability of its products. Because of Tesla's integration of all its supply chains, the company has been able to lower the cost of its goods. I'm interested in hearing what you have to say about this subject. Do you believe the 4680 will be the future of inexpensive electric vehicles? Or do you believe it'll be the flagship technology that everyone will acknowledge? Let us know what you think by leaving a comment below. After seeing our video, Kristen Bond said that there are so many fantastic points here concerning Lucid and their promises. Consider the possibility of a shared future in which not every single customer owns their own automobile altogether and how the Lucid EV fits into that scenario. If the next step is true artificial intelligence and autonomy, the Air Sedan is going to be a very premium piece of equipment. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.